Like I said in my tour video, I had four years with this car, so I know it very well. Feels pretty much exactly the same as how I sold it. Like I said, it has 89,000 uh, miles on it now, which is, you know, very impressive. I know these uh, S4s are very reliable. They're in the 150,000 mile range. That exhaust is crazy. <laughs> I said in the tour video this is the AW retouring exhaust so it uh it definitely sounds really good it doesn't drone on the highway or anything so yeah guys in the tour video like I said this has the three liter supercharged v6 with 333 horsepower it's stock it's not tuned or anything but it's very well known that these are underrated from the factory so they make right around 350 horsepower these downshifts are very nice. And you could just run through the gears so quickly with the, trans with the uh, dual clutch transmission here. I pretty much only drove this thing in manual mode. I never really had it in drive. It was just kind of something that I like to do. And as you can see when you're cruising here, the exhaust really quiets down, doesn't drone or anything. I used to take this thing on a lot of road trips and it sounded fantastic. The seats are fantastic, like I said, they're very supportive. And this is a prestige model, so as you can see it has the carbon inlays here, it has the full leather interior. gets really really sharp the steering gets heavier I'm actually not a fan of how heavy the steering got in this car when you put it in dynamic I normally had it in individual with the suspension on stiff but the steering on soft and if you go to auto it does its own kind of thing and then comfort this thing really kind of falls asleep it gets really lazy with the throttle and everything so because this is a b8 it has kind of the older infotainment you can see that this is not uh, a stock infotainment screen here. I had the Apple CarPlay module fitted as you probably heard in my full tour video. The climate controls are a little bit older now, but you know, it still gets the job done. You guys can hear that the supercharger is very pronounced thanks to the cold air intake, the CTS Servo one that I installed. And it's kind of hard to see. I have my um, my P3 uh, vent gauge here as my supercharger pressure currently, but you can cycle through the various modes like the coolant temperature and stuff like that. When you tip into the throttle a little bit, it does. The exhaust is very pronounced. I know I said it doesn't drone, but if you're in the wrong kind of RPM band uh, with the DSG, it does. You know, kind of have a very pronounced tone, but it's only for short, you know, a short second or so. It's nothing crazy, nothing unbearable for me. And like I said, I had this car for four years. I bought it with, I believe I bought it with 65,000 miles on it. And like I said in the beginning, it has 89,000 89, miles now. Um, and from what I understand, the car has been very reliable to the new owner. It was very reliable to me. I did all the, you know, the respective maintenance and everything on it. I really miss this car, guys. Uh, I love my 340i. Um, and this was kind of my first, you know, performance, you know, sedan, German sedan. Um, and the 340i kind of, you know, has a lot of similarities to this car. It's a six cylinder forced induction, you know, over 300 horsepower. Um, obviously the 340 is a lot more, you know, a little bit more modern than this car. Um, but this is, was kind of my first introduction to, to the uh, German performance sedan world. Um, and really what inspired me to look for something similar when I sold this car, like for the 340. As a platform, these S4s are a very stout, reliable platform. They make great power. They look great. I think these have aged really well, and I would recommend them to anyone. You can find them for a relatively affordable price now. And they're just a great all-around vehicle. I know that's been said 
with the S4s for you know the generations, but I really think the B8 is the pinnacle of the S4 up to this point. I don't really like the B9 with the turbo, and it just doesn't really look that good to me. These have a very classic, timeless look. But overall, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me on this quick little tour and test drive of my old 2010 Audi S4. Like I said, I really, really miss this car. Maybe I'll make an offer to buy it back. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this quick little video, and I'll see you in the next one.